Hey, what's up guys? Infinite Forges here. So I want to talk to you about playlists in Halo Infinite in December 8th. You know, I I hope, I really do hope that we get something new in matchmaking because I personally am, you know, apart from the general gaming market and new people that are experiencing this through Game Pass and it being free to play, I'm a Halo fan, man. I love this game. I'm going to be around for God knows how long. It's a passion of mine. But for people that are just finding this and for people that are, are new or that haven't been around in like five to ten years now trying Halo again, if there is not an update to playlist, this this game is going to be hit player base wise severely and that worries me because it also makes me sad because a lot of people are probably just going to dip off after campaigns because of course when December 8th launches uh, the campaign side of the game I'm hoping that there's a day one patch for multiplayer as well but let's say there's not let's say it's just campaign after the initial hype of that campaign is you know subsiding and kind of dwindling out which I'm sure it's gonna be a fantastic experience and it'll probably last a while all the hype around it but let's just say nothing happens for multiplayer that is going to be a significant hit to the player base because a lot of people are looking forward to December 8th for something new. Uh, I, personally, for me, multiplayer has gotten a little stale. Not to say that the game isn't fantastic. I think the core elements of this game are phenomenal and the devs that have worked on this have done an excellent job. But the lack of game modes is the thing that is upsetting me because the reality is I don't want to downplay the complexity of what it takes to actually produce uh, game modes and put them into matchmaking, make sure everything flows well, right? I don't want to downplay that complexity, if there's any, right? Which I'm sure there is to a capacity. There's systems and whatnot that you got to abide by, especially in a company like that. Like, let's not be naive. There's steps to this stuff. <laughs> but re let's just say it's the easiest thing in the world. The fact that it's not there, yes, is upsetting. However, I do believe that it's it's got to be on their mind and they've got to be thinking about, okay, what can we implement to, to revive the multiplayer? And, and by the way, when I say revive, look at the numbers. The game's doing incredibly well. However, it's just the community itself is asking for it, right? They're asking for the microtransactions to be changed, the progression to be fixed. And you could see the pace at which 343, especially during a holiday season, is reacting and responding to the community, which is nothing but a good thing. You know, this is not me shilling. It's just look at it, man. Like, they're, they're, it's been Thanksgiving. It's the holiday season. And they are implementing certain small fixes that are temporary, of course, to basically relieve the community of whatever the pain they're feeling within the microtransaction and progression aspects which i think is commendable so good on you guys for doing that as quickly as you have but man the playlist you need to have snipers you need to have shoddy snipers you need to have little action sack game modes like rockets or hammers or uh if you guys have ever played paintball any of these funky cool like swat man and infection please infection there's you know, something that happened in Halo 5 where Infection didn't come for X amount of months or whatnot, I forget, but, and that was a shame, and I really don't want to see that for Infinite, and if it is, that's, that's going to be upsetting for a lot of people, especially myself, like, I love custom games, I love Forge, you guys know this, and to have these, I would say standard games that have been in, in past titles before, make an appearance in matchmaking pretty often would be an incredible thing to see. And I'm not saying that this is going to destroy multiplayer because the reality is the game is too good for it to just fall off. I, Halo is fantastic. But a large amount of people will probably get bored of it and they'll feel stale and that's unfortunate because the game is just, there's so much potential to it. But yeah, those are some of the game modes that I want to see and that's my worries and that's my concerns. I, you know I love Halo, but the reality is, is like this game, if it doesn't get updates to matchmaking, which I'm sure December 8th, it will, uh, it could face an issue with players just saying, hey, yo, we love campaign, it's fantastic, but we need something new to bring us back to multiplayer, apart from cosmetics and whatever is in the shop, as well as events. There needs to be just a general playlist that keeps people engaged and especially just for the general Halo community that makes it feel like older game modes that were standards um, are returned and shown some love. I think that's very important to all of us. Uh, and apart from the fact that this is very fun, I really hope that they make a return sooner than later. So 
Let me know what you think of this video and my my concerns. I want to hear yours as well. Drop them down in the comments. Uh, let's talk about it, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.